Hi, I'm Sherry Stanford, a Natural Resource Specialist at North Plains Groundwater District in Dumas, Texas. I'm here today to talk to you about how to read a micrometer water flow meter, also known as a propeller. The propeller is a fully mechanical meter, which means it measures the flow of water by using a propeller that is turned by the force of the water moving through the pipe. And that motion is then translated through moving parts to the face of the meter to display the volume of water that has moved through the meter and the flow rate. There are also electronic meters that provide the same information. However, today we are focusing on the propeller mechanical meter, which we have a model of right here. The first step in reading a meter is to locate it. If you know the location of the well, that's the place to start. The meter is usually located on the well discharge pipe, somewhere between the well and the point where the pipe goes back underground to distribute the water where it's needed. While the meter is usually at the well, if you can't find it there, it will likely be located close to the nearest center pivot sprinkler or other central distribution point. Okay, once you find the meter, it will be encased in a boot like this. It's easy to take off if you hold it and move it side to side and pull it off. With the boot removed, you should see a cover or lid that needs to be lifted to expose the meter face. Once you have the meter face exposed, it's a good time to inspect the meter for damage. First of all, if the well is running, the meter should be moving. The needle should be rotated clockwise from the left side of the meter and the numbers should be advancing. If the well is running and there's no evidence of the meter working, the meter is damaged and needs service as soon as possible. If the numbers are turning but the needle is not, immediate service is recommended to make sure it doesn't completely stop working. If the needle is stuck but the numbers are moving, you will still be able to read the total volume the well has pumped. You may be able to calculate the flow rate based on the time it takes the numbers to advance, or you may choose to check it after the meter is repaired. Another sign that a meter needs service is evidence of water inside the crystal face. This indicates defective seals inside the meter that are allowing water to get into and possibly damage the workings of the meter. Now back to reading the meter. With the lid of the meter open, observe the face of the meter. Not all mechanical meters have the same features, but they have the major features you need to read them correctly. First, most mechanical meters will have some means of measuring the current flow rate, usually in gallons per minute or GPM. On this MIC propeller, the GPM is indicated by the needle and gauge that encircle the perimeter of the meter. As long as the well is running, Observing the location of the needle along the gauge will give you the flow rate at that point in time. The next thing to look for on the meter face is the totalizer. It is the row of numbers that looks like the odometer in a car and usually found toward the middle or bottom of the face. The last digit on some totalizers is red, indicating that the meter is not reversible. The red digit is not a decimal. Totalizers may record the volume based on various scales, including gallons, acre inches, or acre feet. This MIC propeller records in gallons, as is indicated in the line of print below the totalizer, known as the multiplier. The multiplier reads gallons times a thousand, which means the reading on the totalizer should be multiplied by a thousand to calculate the actual totalizer reading. Multipliers allow the meters to record higher volumes with fewer digits and may increase the totalizer reading by 10, 100, or 1,000 times, as in the case of this MIC propeller. Some meters may even have a multiplier of 1. After multiplying the reading on the totalizer by the multiplier, you have successfully read the meter. Congratulations! We have now concluded this tutorial on MIC propeller mechanical flow meters. For more information, please contact us at pr at northplainsgcd.org. Thank you.